Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal today, recording this video on uh, day two of uh, my cold. I took a COVID test yesterday and it came back negative. So I guess uh, this is just like a super heavy cold. Um, so this is me with a husky cold voice. Uh, maybe it would be a good day to do a podcast. Anyway, what I want to show in this video is uh, a project that I think is pretty interesting. I want to do a few videos because so there's like so few people interested in the subject um, of Paleo Hebrew, and I really find it fascinating. The TLDR, as they say in internet speak, is that uh, the Hebrew font we know today is, act is something called Ashurit, the block Hebrew font, but that's not always been the way Hebrew was written. Back in the day of the Bible, the Hebrew font went through a succession of different fonts, and I'll talk about in, in another video how to uh, how to that you can download some of those to your computer and play around with typing in them, etc. Um, now, I want to show you guys a specific project from my, which is why I'm on my GitHub. Uh, I've gone a bit crazy with adding them, so it'll just take me a second to here. Here we go, Paleo Hebrew. I, if I may say so, I think this is a pretty interesting project. Um, so Paleo Hebrew went through several variations. Now this isn't really traditional because from what I've read, and I'm not a historian, but from what I've read on the internet, it was never really used for liturgical, uh, in other words, for prayer use. This was before Hebrew was written as, as well in common practice or, or the liturgy, the, the, the prayer was commonly committed to text. And when it was, it was done in Ashurit, and during the time in ancient Israel when Ashurit and what we call nowadays in Hebrew Ketav Ivri or the various, uh, the various iterations of Paleo Hebrew uh, were in existence, the Paleo font was used for more day-to-day -day stuff. That's my understanding. Now you will see the only people who really know about this Paleo Hebrew font these days are archaeologists really because when you go digging up stuff in Hebrew you find stuff in Paleo and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that the one shackle coin still bears uh, shekel written in paleo anyway what I, what I wanted to show you guys is this repository and why it matters if you're interested in paleo so firstly this is because obviously it's hosted on github this is completely open source anyone is welcome to uh to download it now what these are i got married almost three years ago and before the wedding I decided i wanted to have a really biblical theme to the wedding because i'm so interested in all this stuff so i produced my own Birkonim, Grace After Meals, in Paleo Hebrew. This may be the first time, if not in history, because the form the standardization of the uh, of the Birkat Amazon prayer uh, Grace After Meals came after, I believe, uh, the Excel, but I may be wrong. Rabbis and historians can correct me. But I certainly couldn't find any in bookstores, so I made my own. So what I did, I firstly learned Paleo Hebrew. And then, now I'll talk about the, the pitfalls of uh, writing in Paleo in another video. But basically the pitfalls are that you can't just switch to a Paleo font, especially if you use Linux. I use Linux, as I've mentioned many times. So you can't just like install the font and learn where the keys are. So what I ended up doing was downloading, not, not a keyboard layout, but an actual font and physically typing. The other part of the story is that before my wedding, while I was doing this and trying to teach myself paleo and write, make my little paleo. And I, I tried to do this like programmatically, right? I tried to find a way to like, if you take the shin and paleo, this is, uh, sorry, this is, why wow, my paleo has gone rusty. Ah, I know this word, Baruch. It's gone really rusty. Baruch, I think, is that a bit? Uh, maybe this wasn't the best idea to try to refresh my one year old um, knowledge of paleo while I'm sick. But um, anyway, this is it. So the, the, the key tour, as they say in modern Hebrew, is that when I produced these, because there was so much craziness going on in my life, I didn't have a chance to proofread it. So there's a good chance. So I had to actually type this by hand. I literally had to type the entire Berkat Amazon because I tried and failed to find a way to do it like through a find replace kind of a situation. I can still remember parts of it, but right now I'm really rusty. Anyway, the point about this is this is a PDF render and I'm just gonna show you guys I wanna put up on the screen. Um, I have in this folder, the, the, the project's called Paleo Hebrew. Um, 
I attached some resources here. So, so these aren't mine, the TTF font. So you can download the true type font to type in Paleo. And this is a Paleo keyboard map. So basically the, and there's, there is a Windows layout. That's what I'm gonna cover in a second video. There is, someone has made a actual keyboard layout in Windows and they try to match the actual current Hebrew, Hebrew keyboard. For example, like if, if memory serves, this is a Lamed. Well, no, I've really forgotten it. Anyway, they try to the best of their knowledge. I think this is a Chet. Um, I think I'm right about that. I think this is a shin. This is definitely a Dalit, because I remember my initials were Dalit, Dalit, I should say, really. Dalit, Reish, Dalit here, Reish here, and they look quite similar. Um, but uh, for if you're just installing the font, they've it's, they've tried to be logical by, uh, you know, where the equivalent letters are in modern Hebrew by mapping those there. So I just want to show you guys what else is in the repo. My Reddit, my, my Reddit, my GitHub username is Daniel Russell JLM. So feel free to just go in, fork this, download it, do whatever you want with it. Wow, I went, I went, I went, I went, I went all out on this. This is a couple of years since I've been in this repo. It's two years actually almost. So um, in the Birkwanim section, you will find the PDF rendered version. If you use OpenOffice, there is an OpenOffice file just of Paleo. There's one with Paleo and Hebrew separated, and there's one of ODT. So for instance, in this file, Paleo, Paleo Hebrew separated, uh, we can see we have firstly the modern Hebrew, Baruch Ata, and you can't see this word, or Noda Lecha. So I can see, ah, I can, yeah, I can remember bits of it. Baruch Ata Yud Yud El Ohenu Melech Mem Lamed Kuf Ha O Lam. Um, I'm gonna have to do an hour's refresh. So there's that file, and finally, there is the benchers themselves. I encourage anybody who's interested in this madness. Oh yeah, so this is what we actually ended up printing for the wedding. And again, I didn't have time to proofread this, but this actually might be useful if you want to learn if you learn, want to learn paleo. For example, Baruch Ata Yud Yud, Baruch Ata Yud Yud Eloheinu El Elo. Hey, Yud, Nun, Vav, Vav is like a peg, Melech, Mem, Lamek, La, Lamed, Kuf, Ha, O, Lam, Ha, O, this is an Ein, Lamed, something, there's an extra letter here, I think, Mem, Sofit, no, Ha, O, Ein, Vav, Lamed, Mem. So whether you're learning Paleo Hebrew font for the first time, and by the way, archeologists can still read this because when you're doing digs in Hebrew, you find stuff in Paleo. Um, I'll do another video on the different iterations of the Paleo Hebrew font. Um, it, it went through different fonts, starting from the very hieroglyphic one at the first temple, then it came a bit more standardized, very similar to Phoenician. Um, and I want to just end this video by showing you guys a couple of photos of the actual benchers we ended up printing for my wedding. They were printed in Jerusalem in the very sadly now closed ABC print. It was a wonderful print shop and they did a terrific job. My wife is an architect and she's very creative and artistically minded and she designed the cover art. I did this and we printed off them for the wedding. Apparently among our uh, little group of friends in Jerusalem, they're kind of collector's items. But I just want to show you, I wanted to show off this project because uh, I think for those interested in paleo, it was pretty interesting. I'll end this video with the with the clips of the uh, Paleo Sidurim. There are about probably I think three hundred of them out there in the world in circulation. And my aspiration, and this is really an aspiration, it's true, is to firstly relearn the Paleo alphabet, and secondly to produce an actual entire Sidur uh, written in uh, a combination of Ashurit and Paleo, like I've done here, kind of an interlinear version, like uh, Art Scroll do with the English Sidurim. Thank you guys for watching. I'll put up the, the videos now. And uh, if you want to get more videos, feel free to subscribe.